passionate about as well. Tell us about that okay, one. Well, my 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 network marketing business is with um, a company called Bellamy, and it is a luxury skincare line. And not only do we have skincare, but we have makeup. And our CEO is like so wonderful, and she just it, she the her values match up with the sassy sister values, which mm-hmm. is what drew me to you guys. Awesome. And so basically, it's a fabulous fabulous company the products are just top notch and it's like having all these friends to just work with and nice yeah it's just it's amazing and i just it's something i'm really really passionate about and uh the ceo is really really generous and um once you once you um become a a senior director in the company she sends you flowers i don't know what boss sends you this beautiful bouquet of flowers nice yeah and uh she's taking us all those of us who qualified we're going to cancun nice and so i made my own recipe for bella rita's bella coladas (laughs) there you go no diet then are we gonna be off the diet it's it's with my diet stuff i've been been petting your bottle of pinot grigio though because it's leopard and that's my it's really pretty pretty. i know i've got a pretty bottle of it i'd be very this would be very empty tell us about some of your role models that you had go growing up or in your Mm -hmm. adult life what what how, and how they changed your life? My, actually, I think it was my grandmother, my mom's mom. She was probably the best person I ever knew. And she came to the United States from Germany right before World War II. Mm-hmm. And she had lived a fairly comfortable life over there. And she came here with $90. My mother was a year and a half years, a year mm. and a half. And they came with the clothes on their back. So you go from a life where you have servants and chauffeurs and a lavish lifestyle because they, my grandfather had his own business and my, you know, they, Mm -hmm. they worked hard to coming here to start all over again. And, you know, they, she was, she was one of those people who embraced the American dream Mm -hmm. and, you know, my, they, they really just, she was sassy. She oh oh she wa- oh she would have been right. I think you got a little us. bit of her chutzpah. I yeah, think so. Much, pretty much, yeah. My my grandma, yeah, and and so, um, I'm very, we I do have some. Her brother never left Europe, so those cousins live in Switzerland. So I'm really really close with them, and and we just you know we keep in touch, and it's nice to go over there. And I always get this like sad feeling when I'm leaving because I feel like I should be there, you know. Aww. But See, you know. It's all, it's all good, but it's, she was she was probably one of the best people I ever knew in my life. Oh, nice. That's nice. And she taught me that hard work, you never give up, you, you follow your your dream, and then the other person is my dad, because he mm-hmm. was always, he was just always proud of me, except for my not getting 100%. <laughs> not 100%. Yeah, yeah, or I was terrible, and science made me want to just run away. Don't, doesn't everybody you. run away from science? No, I did. there are people who like <laughs> it. I did. No, there are people who like it, and they, they wear those little goggles, and they make... <laughs> like, well, the goggles, we have the goggles to have those, look good on though. Me, so no, I did, they, yeah, they yeah, have that hair yeah. like Albert Einstein. It's a good thing, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Good thing there are some you of those. You have to be born with the hair to like science, I yeah, think. Yeah, I used yeah. to have that hair. Yeah. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so you told us about a challenge your grandmother had. What kind of challenges have you had to get you where you are today? Well, um... It was very difficult in the, I'm not going to tell you how old I am, but like in the 1990s when um, I was looking for teaching jobs in New York because there were none to be had. So, but when I came down to Florida, it was boom. It was, e- it was not hard to get a teaching job. And I've been very fortunate because I was able to do a lot of professional development and just like learn all the new, um, the new new uh, technology and things mm-hmm. like that and um the second year that i was teaching in florida i i worked with a team of teachers and we developed the technology magnet program at a middle school here in sarasota mm-hmm. and then for te- about 10 years i taught um, gifted kids in a special program at another middle school okay and they even made me go camping does this look like it can <laughs> <laughs> No, you don't look no, no more than I do, which I had. It's kind of like, where are the shoe, where's the shoe store? 
Is your idea of camping running barefoot through the Hilton? Hilton? <laughs> no, Hilton? No, we're talking like Rich Carlton. Oh, oh I have to actually, up my game a here. Yeah. And I used to play and play this game. Guess which Ritz? So he and his wife would go, and they would take they would take a picture. Of guess which Ritz? And you had to guess in three, three tries. Or you drink? I, yeah. Or that exactly? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh my goodness! Yes. Yes, but I have to say, I love being part of this group because you guys are just so welcoming and it's fun and everybody has great connections and mm-hmm. it's just really, it's just really awesome. How did you find us? Funny story. Stephanie, who's sitting out there, um, <laughs> or some one of the other ladies mm-hmm. that I know from here, from our group, um, is friends with a friend of mine. And my friend who lives in Tampa told me about this group, and I looked it up online, and poof, whoop, there it is. Here I am. There it was. With this, 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 this red <laughs> microphone. It looks like a clown nose. I just want to squeeze it. Does it squeak? And I'm not, I haven't no. had any wine. Just I imagine yeah, maybe if that's she a had. Good idea. <laughs> maybe that's what she'd be like. Wine. She's no, good without it. Maybe we, you're just fine without it. Um, so uh, tell us. If somebody wanted to uh, look at your website, do you have a website for your network marketing business? I case? do. Okay. I do. It's um, www.bellame.com forward slash Helen, H-E-L-E-N, J-L. Awesome. Yep. And if, and we, if, uh, if somebody's interested, they can go online and if, it's a if you're a first time customer when you go to check out you put a, the coupon code save fifteen in the Ooh. little box and okay. you get fifteen dollars off a purchase of a hundred dollars or more. Oh, nice. wonderful! Nice. Yes. Yes. And we always can, have incentives and things like that. Can they email you from that website if they have questions for you? They probably could, but they can look me up on Facebook. Helen Lester. Yes. On Facebook. They can look me up on, on Facebook. Awesome. So we're super happy that you're a sassy sister. This is actually the first time we've ever met Helen face-to-face. She joined us uh, via the web, found out about us, um, and because of the past circumstances with COVID, we haven't had any in-person groups. So if you're out there and you want to join, um, go ahead and join because we've gotten to know her really well through uh, Zoom and do emails and phone calls, and it's awesome. Especially when my puppy is barking. My COVID puppy. Oh, that's right. You have a puppy, too, in all your spare time. Yes. Make sure you like and share all of our Sassy Sister information. We're on LinkedIn. We're on Facebook. We are on Instagram. YouTube. Oh, yes. And YouTube. You'll see funny videos of Carrie and Kim (laughs) on YouTube. And iHeartRadio. Awesome. (laughs) You're listening to Society Bites Radio, and we are the Sassy Sisters.